Hello, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back and welcome to any new subscribers. Right, I'm here with part two of the book page. Uh, yeah, messing with book pages. You know, that's bugging me that I've got a piece of paper on my desk. Hey anyway, I've decided what I'm going to decorate them with. Uh, I've got a box of randomness. That's got me some bits of lace and other bits and bobs that have never got put away. I'm trying to use it all. But I think I just keep adding to it. I'm not. I'm going to take those out because they're green. Oh, green. Yeah, I want green, silly woman. I don't want that. It will distract me. So, yeah, I've got my box of randomness. I've got a piece of lined tea dyed paper that somehow got its edges crinkled so it won't make it into a journal. And I'm using this lovely kit from My Porch Prints. It's the shabby green. I've not printed the whole kit out. I've printed some of the ephemera. Because I'm going to fill the pockets with this ephemera. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's going to be a very green project. Yeah. I've printed I'm not going to show it you all. You'll see it as we go through it. Uh, some of it I printed the wrong scale as well. And it didn't quite print properly. So they'll get chopped up and collaged with. I've printed some of the pages from that shabby green kit. I've got shadows casting, haven't I? I can't help that, sorry. <laughs> Move my glue further back, it'll cast less of a shadow. That's a few less shadows, yeah. So yeah, I've got pages from the kit and ephemera. And I'm going to use some bits and bobs from this. Also, I've grabbed my collage box which now has some of the lovely green painters paper from Tanya, Tatty Treasure. Uh, I'm still using that lovely <coughs> aged music paper, that A to Z paper. So you can see I've got ripped up pieces of those in top. I just fancied a change, didn't I, with me? Oh, I've got some green tickets there. don't know how they've got in there. They shouldn't be there, but they'll come in handy for a green project. Yeah, and I've grabbed a piece of the brown sticky back paper to use as the backing on my tags and things. So, let's get collaging. I'm going to start off with bits from my box before I go ripping into any new sheets of anything. Oh, I've got a couple of butterflies there. They're from my porch prints. She does a butterfly fussy cuts. And I've printed it on paper rather than card. So I've just cut round the couple I want and I've glued them to a piece of thin card. So it'll be the perfect thickness. When that glue's set, I'll just quickly fussy cut them. So, which one are we going to do first? I think I'm going to do the tag. I'm going to do tag and pocket first. Yeah, so I'll get them both out. They've got to be a bit matchy-matchy, aren't they? That's the front of the tag. That's the front of my pocket. So I'm going to start off by getting some bits of the painter's paper. Oh, I've got a piece there that's already inked. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when it doesn't make it, <laughs> it gets inked and not used. I should have more bits of that. I wonder if I binned them because they were too small. Uh, we'll just come in and rip some more then. Eee. I'm not too bothered if I've got any straight edge on this. Yeah, that's a nice piece. That can go there. I think I might want a bigger piece than that ink piece. That might be better for one of my smaller bits. So the poor little piece of green painter's paper is not getting used again. That piece is better. Uh, that's, I've already got some map page ripped up, but again, they're pretty small. Yeah, let's rip into the new page of map page and music paper so do you know i'm going to take the edge off with my tear ruler where is that gotcha still haven't found a better place for these so it can be tricky just to tear a tiny piece off have i got two pages here yeah don't matter so i'm just going to take that edge off that i don't want on There we go. That's that gone. Sorry, but we don't want you, mate. We're on the floor. I'll pick it up later, she says. This one, my kids, I'll be like, Wah. yeah, you put it on the floor, you never pick it up. 
difference with me you see is I actually do pick it up when I throw something on the floor it's quite temporary they throw it on the floor and it's yeah it's going to be there for 20 years yes I'm just getting rid of my straight edges because I don't want them and I might as well do this last one and to while we're at it I'm using my lines on my board to help me line up so it's pretty straightish but not perfect oh I did very well there with only taking a little bit off I've done well on the top sheet but the bottom sheet's gone a bit iffy look oh, that's fine sorted floor bin right bring those back so <laughs> Oh, I don't believe me. I've already lost the big piece of painter's paper. Oh, was that it? No, I had a big piece on there. Where is it gone? Oh, my word. How is that even possible? What's happened to it? I give up on myself. I really do. I really am an absolute nightmare. I'm going to rip another piece. What on earth? You, somebody's probably shouting at me. You'll be shouting at me, won't you, Sally? It's there, it's there. Oh, that one's even better. We didn't want the other one anyway. No, 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 no. Right. So, there are those two. Let's rip some map page now before we lose it. I want a longer piece for there, so that'll be about right. It's a bit shorter. I can get a bit specific sometimes with size pieces I want. Yay. And what else did I want to use Music paper. Where's that gone? Where's it gone? Oh my word. Here it is. <laughs> Just don't even, people. Don't even. It's a good job I haven't got a big desk, really, isn't it? Because I might lose things, never ever to be seen again. This music paper is so fragile, it rips okay without the tear ruler. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to pop that one there. That one might be a bit big, so I'll use another piece that's smaller. Yeah, that's it. Done. Dusted. I'm using vintage photo on these. My walnut stain is drying up a bit. I have got a reinker, but then I've mentioned before my foam pad's not in the best nick, so I don't know whether I want to waste the reinker on it. But then I've got the reinker, haven't I? It's not like I'm having to buy it. So it doesn't seem to be losing bits of foam like it were. No, I don't know. I really don't know. I might as well get a whirl and I re ink it and see. But it makes a change to use something different. I think this vintage photo is a little bit lighter and it goes with this green a little bit better. So that kit from My Porch Prints is lovely. I didn't like that there. I've had it for ages. Have I? No, I haven't. I thought I'd bought it when I bought the blue one. I bought the blue one absolutely ages ago. And I went to print it out and I didn't have it. And I look back, I'd not bought it. I'd bought Grandma's Attic instead. I didn't even know I had that one. I'm a bit of a My Porch Prince addict sometimes. I buy far more kits than I can ever use. Far more kits than I've got the time to use, basically. Because I'd get them when they're on sale. So, I'm not going to buy any more kits for a while. I'm going to use the ones I've got. So, it won't be a greatest hits. It'll be a greatest kits. Yeah. Starting with this green. And do you know, green's not one of my favourite colours, but I use an awful lot of it in this uh, junk journaling. I don't like that bit. <laughs> I don't like that bit. Do you know I don't like that bit at all now? <laughs> just... 
that bit would just shrink into a point of no return. I'm going to grab another bit. It was too pointy. She says getting another pointy piece. That was just silliness. I'm hoping to get all these done in half an hour. I think I'm dreaming not open. Right, get my Elmer's glue stick because I like it. Get my much smaller glue book because it fits on my desk better. And get some of these stuck down without any faffing. So that's going to be that. Do I have a... Oh, but I've not got a ready half-dried baby wipe, so I'm going to have to bring the sock in again. The sock's not dirty, it has ink on. <laughs> It was a, it was going to be a hat on a snowman, never made it. So now it's my standing one. I don't have a dry baby wipe. You had to chuck a lot away, away, a lot away. They got covered in glue. I need to have a look for some more. I've realised that I got the biodegradable huggies ones in an exchange on my online delivery from asda so they are not all biodegradable so i need to go and have a look at those i feel much happier using baby wipes knowing the biodegradable right that's too gluey pop that in the card box i'm lying I missed card box, it went on the floor outside at card box, so it's now on the floor bin. I've got quite a bit of glue on the back of there, I'm going to wipe it off. And that one's going there. Get your sock. <laughs> and now I need a baby wipe to wipe my finger. Because it's all gluey. I'll tell you what it is. I've got my eating fixed, so I'm like, yeah. I'm being all tropical now, going mad with eating, and all my glue's softer. Because it's warmer. I had real trouble when it was cold, getting some of them out at bottle. You don't realise what a difference the temperature makes to the glue, but it really, really does. Right, glue this big piece on. Yeah, I just thought this painter's paper goes so well with that shabby green kit. It had to be used. I'm using it to death, aren't I? I'll be saying to Tanya, need more, need more. Ooh. Yeah, that one going at that side, will not it? Yeah, I just like how that ripped to go around there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> one of my subscribers i'm enabling her to buy things she keeps seeing things and buying them tony and she's bought the full roll of the painter's paper so if you run out tanya i can get tony a bell <laughs> oh dear i don't know why i've not bought a full roll i do because tanya said i don't need a full roll she's got loads and she'll send me as much as i need but she's not sending me too much at once because she knows i have a tendency to hoard she knows me. Wee. I don't know why we have to make wee sounds when we put glue on. I really don't. I didn't want that one on next, did I? I've done the wrong one. I wanted that one on next. So. Get it done quick before. Oh, turn it up a bit. Quick before glue dries on your other piece, I turned it down, not up. I keep doing that all the time. I don't do it when I'm collaging off camera, sticking the wrong piece on. It's because I'm talking, isn't it? I say I can't multitask, but this is in a way multitasking. So I'm better than I think at multitasking, aren't I? I must be. Alright, that's that. Oh, I do like the look of these. All these colours just go together so well. Colours of the paper. 
that painter's paper oh I'm pretty I'm just liking those I now just have to decide what from the paper kit I'm going to put on it so let's grab that oh we're going to put the big butterflies on something do you think these I want one big butterfly on the corner one on the outside I think and then I've got one in the kit that can go on my big pocket yeah so excuse me for fussy cutting but I'm going to yeah these uh fussy cuts they've got the grey around the edge which are quite like you don't have to go as mad with your ink then it takes that starkness off and it's also it's more forgiving then I think I don't know You don't feel you have to be as careful so I don't anyway I then go a little bit quicker and then there's no difference by end of it so yeah I'm liking this grey around the edge and I remember when Tim Holtz came out with his new uh, yeah fussy cuts with the grey edge I didn't like it don't know why but now I do it's much easier to ink can be a bit little difficult sometimes when he scissors cast a shadow on the lighter parts to know what's the grey edge and what's the lighter part. And I'm there's no way on this earth I'm cutting around them feelers on butterfly antennae they're called. I call them feelers. They're not feelers, are they? I don't know what they're they're antennae. Don't see you don't know what they are when you've just said it. I'm not cutting around antennae, life's just too short. Wee. that went too bad a time frame for a fussy cutting one more to go people one more <laughs> yeah i'm not the fastest fussy, fussy cutter i'm a bit faster now i don't try to be quite as perfect I'm telling you when i first started fussy cutting it could take me a good five minutes to cut one thing out i set myself in possibly high standards I'm learning not to do that in everything now and I'm getting much quicker at a lot of things I've not set the timer I was hoping to get all these done in half an hour I don't think it's going to happen well you never know I'd probably have much more chance if I'd already fussy cut these wouldn't I But I only just realised I printed them on paper instead of card. I do that a lot. <laughs> Forget what I've got in printer tray. At least kids are good. They always know if ever they want to print anything out for the schoolwork, they'll be like, am I ready to print? Have I got the right paper in? So they're not going printing out the task sheets on expensive photo paper or anything like that i've got them trained if i have even if i've not trained myself to check what paper's in right i'm just going to ink around those a little bit yeah see can be much quicker to ink sometimes than the white ones i think i'm going to put something well i'm going to put something behind them that's not a light bulb moment <laughs> I just don't know what I'm going to put behind yet. Right, so that's the cover. That's. I think I want one on the tag as well. I really do. I might have to print out some more fussy cuts. I think I want that big one on the tag, and I'm not putting anything else under because I don't want anything getting caught when it goes in and out of the pocket. So I'm just going to. You can see how things sometimes curl when you've glued them. I'm just manipulating this card a little bit to make sure it's not sticky up here at the edges that's a technical term that's sticky up here it can apply to hair as well when I get up in the morning yeah I have a big sticky up here with my hair problem right, I'm gonna stick this on with my cosmic shimmer it's easier to get those edges stuck down really well with a wet PVA glue
Yeah, I think I'll stick him on and perhaps a label. I don't think he wants to be Katie cornered. He's telling me he wants to be straight. Yeah, he wants to be straight. And grab my little label tub. I don't know if I've got any left in I'm going to want to use. I have cut, printed some new ones out. I just haven't. Oh, that does look good. I'll get one that's already cut round though. Yeah, there you go. Pop that one on. I'm not even sure that needs inking. Did I swap to use it? <laughs> Me walnut stain at some point. I really don't know. I've used it that often. It's habit now to pick it up. So you can go on there as well. I do love these labels. What we're going to stick on things when labels go out of fashion? It's like, oh no, what's it going to be? Pop a label on. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like him non Katie cornered as I call it. So there's my tag. Yeah, I do like him. He's good. He needs some cheesecloth or something behind him. I don't know if I've got cheesecloth in here. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I do like that. Do you think he might want a bit of that behind him? I think he may. He could. He really could. It's not green, but it's like a goldy colour. And I think it fits nicely. I'm just going to roughly chop it. I don't think I want too much of it because it's going to cover my music paper up. And I'm going to see how well the edges fray before I make the final decision. Oh yes, they're fraying nicely. I'm just going to pull. I'm trying not to do it over my work. But if I go too low down, you can't see it. Yeah, I'm just going to fray the edges round. It'll be some sampler or other I've got this. Or sometimes I just buy random bags of scraps of fabric. There's a craft place in the UK. It's not a craft. It's sewing mainly called is it Minerva and I've had their scrap bags before now their scrap bags are either absolutely fabulous or really rubbish you've just got to <laughs> take a chance I do like that yeah so we're going to put the fabric on and then the flutter by does it matter which way oh I think I might like that way better yes so I'm going to use my I'm just going to use PVA blow it Get your Hobbycraft PVA and stick it on with that woman. Just checking the holes clear because I've got one pin between two glues. Wait three days for it to come down. I ought to just go straight to the Hobby. I don't think I've got a big bottle of Hobbycraft glue left. I'm telling Tanya how fantastic it is and then I've nearly run out. Sometimes you want a bit more, don't you, than these thin bottles will allow. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to use... Try your Cosmic Shimmer. That's a bit thinner. Comes out a bit quicker. Otherwise, we'll be here all day, won't we? Yeah. There we go. I'm not even going to bother using fabric glue. Too expensive. I'm just going to swipe that about with, with my finger. Just to make sure it's spread out a bit. And I'm going to pop it there. Just a little bit over to one side. Wipe my finger while I pat it down. And then I'm going to stick my butterfly on. Oh, I do like that bit of fabric. It's really nice. I'll have to put a bit of that on pocket as well now. That hobby craft glue is too thick. Lay it on its side. This is Cosmic Shimmer. I can't really tell much of a difference, to be honest. My glues are going cheaper and cheaper, and I'm noticing they're doing the same job. Next week, I'll be using flour and water. So, let's put you on. Yeah, I don't want you, Katie Cornered. I don't know why I don't want Katie Cornered butterflies today. So, he's good. I'm just going to grab my cropper dial 
I'm going to chomp a hole in the top. So we might as well finish it while we're here, aren't we? Hole chomped. Grab my eyelets. Where are my eyelets? Have you already got your eyelets out, woman? If you have, you've lost them. I'm going to take your glasses off. I've got some new glasses and the light reflects on them so much you can't see. My eyelets must be out because I can't find them. So if I look for them, oh they're here. Found them, found them, panic over. I'll be going to wonder if I'd buried them in my pile. So I want to use this antique bronze one. Yes, I like that. Pop that through. And I think this tag top's asking for a bit of ribbon and a bit of dupe twine. So that's that. Bit of ribbon or sari silk. Do I have any in this pile? Not sure. I've got my twine. Oh, I've got some bits of sari silk. I wanted a bit of green. I don't want to get more things out, but I'm going to have to get my seam binding out. <clears throat> yeah but then again i don't think it's the right green we'll check we'll check and see i could do dyeing some more in a slightly darker color i think let's have a look see does it yeah it goes enough yeah it's good enough so i'm just going to poke a bit through yeah she says poke a bit through i don't think it heard me yeah it's quite pale actually it does go really well when you just see a little bit of it cut that off i'm going to cut that bit off it's gone a bit too ratty for my liking and then i'm going to use some of this fine jute twine to tie around the top of the tag the top of this sorry silk at the top of the tag yeah i know what i mean <laughs> just it's not happening is it cut some off i can't do it on camera straight from there because i'm doing it so that you can see <laughs> it, it does work this trust me trust me i'm a crafter and just a little bow. I like the look of the bow. I think butterflies and bows go so well together. If we're doing a pretty masculine project, I'd, you know, I'd uh, curb the bows. So, snip that off. Snip that off. So there we have it. The tag and the pocket i'm not going to put it in because what i want to do with these now is just put them under something to keep flat while they finish drying so they're going under my mat while i move on to the next thing right we don't need too much desk tidying do we so let's do this for next or this or this I'm going to do the corner pocket, I think. Yes, let's do corner one. Right. I think I mentioned with these, especially when you've sewed the front, when I've done it, I will put a little Velcro dot on so that you can, yeah, see. So that it will stay shut. Right. Inside, all I'm going to do is put a bit of this lined paper. So what I'm going to do is just measure it up roughly. get my pencil I could put the brown but I fancy putting the lined here oh yeah that's what I didn't do on the back of my tags you've seen me stick brown paper on before it's not and I'm gonna rip this uh, I will use my straight ruler so I'll slime my ruler up with those marks And rip. I'm doing 
two sheets at once here because hopefully one will then go to the other part of the triangle hopefully I'm then going to rip down this seam seam crease And let's see if I measured that up anywhere near what it needs to be like. So pop your page out. That's how it's going to be on my journal. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. <clears throat> it's not way out. A little bit of ink. Not too much. I don't go mad with ink when I'm using quite delicate colours. And that those greens are quite delicate on the design paper so yeah and that's going to get glued on with my glue stick I need to rip another page off there all those puzzles I now can't do oh well oh well <laughs> she says I've got loads of these puzzle books I still haven't done one since I mentioned it last time too many other things to do you know, it annoys me when my kids are the bored. I don't think I've ever been bored in my life. There's always something to do. I think that's the difference between people who have hobbies and those who don't. Or maybe some people want to be doing something more thrilling than they're doing and they think they're bored, but they're not. Right. I'm going to line this corner up if I can. We've got to have some order to this. We've got to have some perpendicular lines, haven't we? There we go. I like it. Grab your sock, woman. You don't have to have a sock, by the way. <laughs> Could you imagine you needed a sock? Tim Holtz would start selling sock tops. Yeah. That'd be funny, that. Right, so that's that one on. Where on earth is the other triangle? There it is. So now that one... I've already sewed. To be honest, I should have put that on before I sewed, but it's it's fine actually. It fits perfectly just inside the sewing line. Could not have done that better if I had tried. I think I'm going to cut it down a smidgen so that you can still see the sewing lines. So I'm going to get the trimmer out for this. I'm just going to cut a teeny smidgen off. So yeah, if you're going to sew, do this bit. I didn't think of that. Do this bit before you do your sewing. It'll be easier. Because what I don't want is this to just overlap the sewing and then start to curl up. That's better. Fits perfect. That was so lucky. Put lid on you glue woman. I've said that about ten times now in this video. I might put some little sticky notes up reminding me. Put the lid on your glue. If you lose it, check the floor. Yeah. Bring back the glue book. I don't know. Do you know this glue you dries quicker on book page? It seems to take a long time to dry on this crossword book, but I don't want it for anything. It's all going at recycling. I've got plenty of others to put in journals. And let's glue this. Still loving this Elmer's Extreme Glue. Really love it. It's my new favourite glue stick. Right, this one might be a bit trickier to line up because I'm trying to line it up now within stitch lines. Will I achieve that? It needs to go up a little bit there. Seem to have done it. Yay, it worked. Grab the sock. Yeah, and I say it all the time about this Elmer's. It dries matte if any gets where you don't want it. It's not shiny. Love it. So that's the inside of that done. I'm now going to grab my Velcro dots because it'll bug me if that keeps flapping up. 
while I'm trying to decorate from. I use these, um, they are the Velcro branded ones. Which ones are they? Thin clear fasteners. Got a very slim profile. I don't think it makes much difference which way. Yeah, I want the, I'm going to put the furry one on the top. So you get the furry one that is white, of course, and then it's the hooky one that's clear. So I'll put the furry one on first. Oh, and put the hooky one on the furry one. These are technical terms, these. Yeah, hooky and furry. Of course they are. And just prop that corner down so that's how it will be in your journal yeah and then you can put a little tab on I'm not going to do that because I don't know what journal I'm going to put it in so I don't know what style of tab I'm going to need but yeah pop a little tab on and it will make it easier to open right I always put my velcro fasteners away straight away because these little birdies are not cheap and they are not getting lost and I'm not going to have to buy them again right so there we have it put your glue book away for now woman and what shall we decorate this with I'm just going to keep going in the same style some painter's paper I think I might put that on top this time so we want painters, we want music, and we want A to Z. I'm going to try and rip this slightly in the shape of the point. Only because we'll have two really empty blank pieces at the top if we don't. I'm not trying to follow it precisely, just can you see... So that it, we have got some coverage. So that's going on. You'll see it better when I've inked this edge. What I mean. There you go. So that's going to go there. And I want a piece of A to Z at the bottom. So again I'm going to try and rip this down to some kind of point from a wider piece. Failed dramatically <laughs> epic fail I think they call that so I'm going to try and rip a straight bit these are all going in my collage box and I'm going to start at the point this time yeah that's better <laughs> yeah we like and I'm going to rip it down there I might have to do some franking pages with all these bits that didn't make the cut I do once my collage box gets too full that's what I do use up all these bits that didn't end up ripping shape I wanted so yeah that's gonna go there that there oh I just had too much there I want it ripping off much happier now I like to keep it within the stitch lines that 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 and then that very happy with that glue it down before you forget where it goes or you change your mind so we want i think i'm going to glue map page down first no music paper down first there we have it Get this Tim, it's not a Tim Holtz sock. I'm being sarcastic now. Get the sock. I've got room to ink that there, or even glue it. Without putting that on top of the existing glue. Then I'm going to have to get the kit pages out and find one of the butterflies to put on here. Oh, 
or maybe one of the ephemera pieces i don't know i haven't decided glue my last bit of painter's paper or should i say glue my last bit which is painter's paper it's not the last bit i've got tanya don't panic don't want you running down to the post box in your dressing gown yeah I'm quite liking that i really do love how these pages come go together right oh this blooming plaster i'll be glad when that's gone right we don't want to craft a lunch do we so put your lids on your boxes so i'm going to grab the kit pages now i think i'll put lid on me ink before we have a disaster and me glue again we don't glue definitely need a post-it note so we're looking for something for the front of here so we want to look through the ephemera pages i was going to use some kit pages in the background but it didn't need it just didn't need it right so possible mm -hmm. can you see all this you can see most of it you can see enough of it <laughs> i mean that's a lovely page you could fussy cut some of those butterflies out if you want yeah i just wish this kit had a few more green fussy cut butterflies in actually there's only one or two there's that one there i think i might put one of these tickets on you now or that i don't know I might have to print out a couple more fussy cut butterflies because I really don't think I've got any green ones left in my random box. Mm. There's all fabulous for ephemera to put in pockets though, these aren't they? These are the one I've used but is obviously bigger on there. Right, I'm a bit butterflied. That one seems a bit small, doesn't it? I'd like him. I'd really like him smaller. You know, if I'd uh, printed that out at half size, he would be the perfect butterfly for there. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to pause and do it. Two ticks. And I'm back. Right, all I've done is I just went and I printed out two of the kit pages. Two to an A4 page. So I printed out one that had a card on with that butterfly. And I've fussy cut him ready. You don't want to see me fussy cut another butterfly, do you? Uh, I haven't fussy cut another for the uh, big pocket because I'm not going to use it as a fussy cut. I didn't ink it though, so you're going to have to watch me inking. So, yeah, I'm happy now. I've got the butterfly I wanted in the size I wanted. I'm a happy bunny. So he's going to go there. And again, I'm going to use a piece of that gorgeous fabric because it just goes so well, doesn't it? I haven't got much of that. Look how much of that I've got. Oh, another scrap. Yeah, it's the other scrap I've cut off. You don't know you love something until it's nearly gone. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do a country and western song. Oh dear. So I'm just going to cut another piece of that off again. Pop him under. I think I want that piece with the light a bit on. This piece is even more wonkier. Oh, well, I like a bit of wonky sometimes. There we go. I think that's enough. I could save them and do some at Wayne, but you know what? They've gone on floor bin. Right. This is going to cover up most at painter's paper, but we see a little bit of it. And he's going to go there. Oh, yes, me like you. So grab your glue again. Get a good squeeze. <laughs> Don't ruin it, bottle woman. Yeah, this is my Cosmic Shimmer. It does come out a bit better. I could use the big bottle of Cosmic Shimmer, but do you know, I find the glue gets stuck in that point. So I've cut it off and cut it off and cut it off till it's gone. And now my glue's like glued, my pin's glued in the top and I can't get lid off. 
I can see me having to cut the bottom of this bottle to get the glue out. Crazy. I'm not spreading the right on my finger. That glue will get covered by the butterfly. It's a very thick fabric this anyway. There we go. I didn't want to get on my fingers really. And then I'm going to put him on with the same glue. Mr. Green Flutterby. I do love butterflies. I can't go too long without making a project with butterflies in, you know. And we'll pop you on there. Yeah, we're not Kate cornering today. We're going straight. There, so that's that. Oh, I do love that. Bring it a bit closer for you. That fabric was just perfect. Do you know, I must have had that fabric two years as well. Right, I'm going to pop that under my mat as well to stay flat while the glue sets. And we've just got this one to do now. I'm only decorating this bottom piece. Now, what you decorate yours with if you're doing one depends on how big you've made that bottom pocket. If you'd like to think further ahead than your nose end, which I don't, <laughs> You could make the bottom pocket the correct size for what you intend to put on it. Now what I've decided I want to put on it when I printed these is that. I want that on it as is. So I'm going to go and cut him out. I'm going to cut roughly around him. It's not all perfect, this is it. It's got the rough, rough, uneven grungy edges. So I'm going to keep with the uneven grungy edges. I like the layers, that layered look that it's already got to it. He would not put a ticket on corner pocket, but I don't think it needed it. Yes, that is what I'm going to put on there. So I'm going to ink the edges. I am going to layer some a bit of collage underneath as well. So. Grab that, that piece of painter's paper is going to be the one because I don't want it going to waste. I don't have much of this, so I have to be really careful with it. <laughs> I'm joking. I've got as much as I need as Tanya keeps telling me. Yeah, actually, she sent me quite a chunk and I must have used, I know I seem to be using it all the time, and I've not even used an eighth of what she sent me. So it is going to last me quite a while, despite all my joking. So, Tony, I don't know how long yours is going to last you. Probably into the next lifetime. So that's that. Then we want a bit of map page and music paper again. I do like to collage with the same things when I do these trio sets, I just do. That's my, it's my little bit of order in the chaos. Is that rough enough, that edge? I don't know. I think that one. Yeah, I like that. And a piece of music paper. A big chunk's going to get covered up, isn't it, by that, um, yeah by that so if i put them green papers out we're not going to see it are we that's cracking there isn't it so i need to put some near the top near the bottom don't i so that we get to see it yes and i think i just need a bit of music paper up that top corner then don't i so a small piece is going to be perfect in fact yeah that's it done jobs are good in so get inking the edges That's that one. Yeah, that little corner piece came in under. It's amazing what pieces you end up using. Has the glue... No, the glue hasn't dried on this crossword book. I don't know what that's all about. So I'm going to start using this book a bit differently. I'm going to flip over to the second page. Can you still see me if I do that? Yes. I'm going to flip over to the second page to do my gluing. 
I think I'm going to put that one on first. And at least I'll get a few bits glued before I have to start tearing it off again, won't I? Oh, craft lunch. What was that? Oh, that one made crop dial. Oh no, I hope it still works. Did that go under there? It's looking like that goes over there now, isn't it? I wanted that under there though, didn't I? I really did want that under there. Please peel up, please. Yes, it did. Another advantage to using glue stick, it doesn't grab instantly. Well, this one doesn't anyway. But when it does grab, it grabs and doesn't come off. Yeah. That's you there. And you there sorted and then that one's going to go at the top don't know which edge i inked which side i think the other side you probably can't see this bit of gluing here you can i won't want you to miss the thrilling glue stick gluing you might not sleep tonight if you miss that oh right pop you on there no, you're going at top, aren't you? Butterflies going near bottom. I think that were it. There you go. Get the trusty sock. Um, I don't know if I like that now. What am I like? Really don't know if I like it. I think it might be too light. I think I might want that dark one instead so I'm going to cut it out and see we can change our minds it's allowed until it's stuck down it's fair game for sacking thinking around on sugar again now Although I've not watched Apprentice for a good few years, so I'm not having a telly licence. Don't watch BBC. Or live TV. I think I might. I don't know. Yeah, I like that one better. I really do. That one's much better. So that's the one it's going to be. Ink up the edges. Yeah, that was the best decision. Do I want it somewhere else and a bit more paper there? I'm going to put a bit of music paper there because you don't know, do you? Well, I don't. I don't know where I might want it. <laughs> I'm uh, spilling over into Faffage and Ditheridge. Get the glue book back. User. and then let's see again <laughs> watch me put it in exactly the same place so you can't even see that I think that's where I want it I need a label, it's got to have a label which label do we want Do I want a stamp? Do I want a stamp on it? I don't know. I might want that stamp on. We'll see. That might just be a daft idea. Hmm. Hmm. I really don't know. I've got an upwards label there with some writing on. I don't think I don't like it. I don't want a label. Do you know what I do want? I want some fabric under that and then I'm done. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. I knew it all along. No, I didn't. Put your lid on your glue, prevent any disasters. 
I'm just going to roughly chomp around this. Oh, I've not got a lot of this fabric left now. It's quite sad, really. And let's rough all the edges up. Who knew that I was going to end up using fabric? I didn't. I was going for my cheesecloth. I think I ought to get some more fabric scraps out and try and use them more often. Instead of just... You get a thing in your head, don't you, that you want? And then, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going for. Right, let's have a look if that's raggedy enough now. That's it. It's done. That's what I needed. I just need... <laughs> I just need... A little round label, I think. I think I need a round label. Like this. Yeah, I do. I want that on there and a round label up there. Well, until it stuck to my finger and moved. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to stick the label on first before I change my mind. Come on, glue. Stop being mean to me. It's me being mean to glue for going to put pin in, actually. I think there's something about those two round circles on that that made me think I needed a round label. So there you go. Slide you further up there. That's it. I really need a big glue. Do you know what? I'm going to use that. I'm going to have to use my three-in-one because I'm on camera and it comes out quicker. Because it's that long since I've used it again, my lid's stuck. Can't get it out. Oh, I don't like the smell of this at all. I should be leaving my craft room to get lunch after this anyway. So I can leave my craft room, get some lunch and let it air out. I'm going to put that that way around where I've got that bit of a leafy bit. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to go straight onto the fabric with this. Gloop, gloop, gloop. It does have its place, doesn't it? Even if it is an objectionable price. I'm so not sticking my finger in it. Don't like it. <laughs> I pat it gently. Most of it's covered in this butterfly thing anyway, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. I did it. That's what I wanted all along. I got there in the end. I'm going to use this as well for this large thing. It's very thick. It needs thinning. Ooh, it's quiet. It's so oh, so quiet. Be -do -be -do. If you know the song, I'm not quite singing by Bjork. <laughs> if my kids won't get out of bed, I put that on Alexa, on Echo, and play it full blast in the bedroom. Awesome at jolly like walking on sunshine. Right, that's that one done. I'm not doing all the innards because basically most of it's going to be cutting out that ephemera and I will do the odd one or two collage tags. But you've seen me collage a tag now. So let's... Shall I do a tanya at Tatty Treasure? Shall I pause to tidy up? No, I'm not going to pause. I'm just going to do a side swipe. There you go. Side swipe it out of way. Put that back on your collage box. Now let's get all the pieces back out to look at together. I'm really happy with these. I really, really am. They are pretty. I love this kit. It's a stunner, this one. So, there we have it. Book page ephemera. Made using... Look at that one. is upside down, poor little mate. Made using... That needs a label. <laughs> when you see the thumbnail, it might have a label on it. I don't know. Yes, made using my porch prints, shabby green K 
kit. I think there's there two or three elements to this kit. You get some ticking papers, which I think I showed you a few of. You get the ephemera pack and then you get the pages pack. So you don't need the pages. I've only used items from the ephemera pack in this. So yeah, it's a mix and match, pick and choose kind of kit. But I'm really loving it. I might have to make one in blue now. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you learnt something or at least enjoyed the waffle and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.